Ladies and gentlemen, a big warm welcome to Schneider's Golf. My name is Eric Schneider. Tonight, we're going to be making some NES repair tools. You might remember this shape from your favorite childhood video gaming system, the NES. Uh, we have the NES shape here. We have Schneider engraved on the top, as well as these mushroom one-up ball markers. So these are what I'm gonna be working on. And I'm gonna bring you along to show you how I make the NES controllers. So let's go ahead and get started. We need to arm the machine, so we're going to take it out of e-stop, turn the machine on. We also need to home the axes, so we'll home X, Y, and Z. They turn green, and we're ready to cut some metal. Making these repair tools is a three-step process. They start out as just a standard block of 304 stainless steel. It goes into the vise in a fixture plate and it's cut on the top. When the first operation gets done, it looks like this. Now this would be kind of tough to fix a ball mark with. As you can tell, there's only a straight blunt edge on here. It's not gonna go into the grass very well, and you'll probably have a superintendent chasing you down, asking you what you're doing to his putting greens with this repair tool. So we have to flip it over, put it into the vise a second time, and take this flat part off the top of it. We have what's called a soft jaw that's made the exact same size as the top of the repair tool. It fits down perfectly inside of the soft jaw and then we take our vise and we tighten it down with a reasonable amount of force so that when we're cutting with the end mill it doesn't rip this out and fling it somewhere inside of the CNC mill here. Now the tools that we're going to be using for this particular operation are first and foremost the Lakeshore Carbide 5 Flute Variable Helix end mill. This is a battle axe when it comes to cutting 304 stainless. It cuts very well, except for when you're an idiot and you break it. So we're gonna have to replace this and then we can start cutting. The next tool in the lineup is this three flute AccuSize cutter. I uh, got it off Amazon, works really good for facing operations and stuff like that. The next tool that we're gonna be using is this corner rounding end mill. It goes around the top, makes nice smooth corners so that we don't leave burrs and jagged edges on our stainless steel. Lastly, we're gonna be using this eighth inch ball end mill from Lakeshore Carbide to go around and clean up any of the burrs that are on the repair tool. After the repair tool is finished with the second operation, it will go over into the other room and it will be milled out to look like this. Once that's done, we can go ahead and paint fill it and that's the end.
finish the final operation. You can see we've got nice round corners here, nice smooth edges here. I can run my finger along it, not gonna get hurt. Pretty happy with the finish. Let's pull this out of the vise really quick, take a look at it. It's pretty good. I'll let you judge. Now we need to do the other side of the repair tool, which is to make it look like an NES controller. And we'll start engraving the back side of the NES controller here on the Tormach. So that's the engraving operation. It's all done. We'll pull this out of here really quick. Let's take a look at it. Well, there it is. Looks pretty good. So we'll throw some paint in here. Get it ready to be mailed off. Ship it to whoever ordered it. That's pretty much the process. The arrow's still hammering away on these. In there working hard. Okay, so it's a couple days after we were milling the second operation on the repair tools. And I wanted to show you what they looked like, finished product, before I wrap this video up. So this is a little bit of the after. These are all painted, paint filled, and ready to go. We also have these one putt ball markers all ready to go. These will be shipped out all over the place. Got people asking for custom orders, custom repair tools and stuff. And I'm really excited about the NES stuff. It's been a lot of fun to make. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you'll subscribe. Tons more stuff coming. Um, this is just a day in the life of Eric Schneider. So super blessed, super happy to own a golf course, to be in the business of making golf equipment, custom putters, custom repair tools. There'll be a lot more of, of just custom stuff, custom builds. So please subscribe. Thank you for your support. I'll catch you next time.